Hello and welcome to another video. So we're back with a race asylum circuit experience challenge here. We're going to be at Monza in the Ferrari and we're going to be comparing our lap with King Gear's lap. Slightly different as King Gear's didn't record his lap, he just recorded his footage of doing the lap so might not be as easy to line the clips up but we'll give it a go so let's get straight into it now then. So same as usual I'm in the top left, King Gear's in the bottom right. And I've recorded my lap from Bonnet View this time just to match with King Gear's live recorded lap. So just coming into turn one now, brake very similar, turning very similar, but King Gear stays in second. We go down into first for that rotation, mostly of the second part I found rather than the first part. But similar exits, keeping it tight to the right. So let's see who's going to pick that sector one. Just as you see, it's King Gears by half a second, half a tenth, sorry, not half a second. So, half a second there in it, coming into, the, again, we use second, King Gears uses third, through that second chicane, so again, a slight difference, but look like we're very similar. Both go for the late downshift into third. Coming to Lesmo 2 now then, we stay in fourth, and King Gears drops to third this time which I was doing and I think it is a tiny bit quicker to drop to third it's just if you didn't do it perfectly you unsettled the car and got a bad exit which is why I chose to stay in fourth on this lap and you see King is just pips us again but nothing in it that time for that sector so pretty much exactly the same in that sector and then again switch back to the opposite through a Scardi King is into staying in fourth we drop into third but again, look very similar. King is might have carried a little bit more entry speed. But we'll have to check that when we do the slow motion replay. And then coming into the final corner now, Parabolka. Exactly the same. But with King Gears stays much narrower. We get the wide run out. And King Gears stays right to the inside. We don't. I don't like. I don't think that should be part of the trap personally. But. As you see, King Gears pips us again, so let's just watch him from slow motion now. So as you see, we've had to use the same view for King Gears, but we're using our off-board view, so hopefully they're matched up quite well. So, as we come down into Turn 1, we're looking for the 150 metre board, and then we're breaking as late after it as we dare. So, see, we break just as, yeah, and so does King Gears, so we're both breaking just after the 150 board. King Gears just carries about 5 mile an hour more entry speed than we do. I feel like we got on the power a little bit earlier and get a tiny better exit, but that evens up anyway. Because King Gears might get less wheel spin being in second. So I think that's where a little bit of our time lost is King Gears just full send into that corner there. So gaining on the entry speed, he didn't, he didn't gain anything on the exit, but we didn't gain anything back on the exit being slightly slower on the entry so full commitment from King Gears there into the first chicane so coming into the second chicane now we're just looking for the bit of road on the right and just breaking at that bit of road on the right we both break the same King Gears does go down into second but shifts back into third we actually carry a tiny bit more entry speed there I think one or two miles an hour not as much as King Gears got in the first sector and um, we both get very similar exits both in fourth we have a slightly earlier downshift than King Gears both just touch that curb and accelerate out so very similar through Lesmo 1 and coming up to Lesmo 2 now I think King Gears breaks a little bit later than us very similar apex speeds though very similar exits as I said I think if you drop to third like King Gears did I think you get the better exit if you do it perfect but I was starting to struggle to get consistency with that and it's easy to make mistakes at this track so I, I was once I knew I was on a good lap I kept it in fourth just to try and get the lap completed so King Gears that might be where he gains that tiny little bit just on the exit of Lesmo 2 I said we're pretty much evenly matched and King Gears stays in the fourth here as we drop to third and he's able to carry that little bit more entry speed 
and then he manages to keep an extra mile an hour by the looks of it on the apex of the second part but the exits are pretty much identical from both of us there as far as I can tell so now on the run up to the final corner Parabolica here and I said this is where the lines really differed is as you see us with brake we're looking for the 100 meter board and again braking as late after it as we dare both brake very similar the king is does he slow down more than we do no in similar apex speed is he a bit more delayed on the power maybe which is why he doesn't run wide he might be a little bit more delayed getting on the power or returned in a tiny bit later it's hard to tell and then he keeps it really tight to the inside whereas we carry the speed and let the car run out as we carry the speed and across the line so not much in it there so great laps those as i've said before if you want to join the circuit experience channel just join the uh, discord link in the description and ask to be put into the circuit experience challenge channel if you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comments below like and subscribe and i'll see you next time goodbye